Hey folks, Papa Boris here, playing some more Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. It's time for a committal moment. We have 5,000 Blackstone saved up. I'm going to go ahead and build up our final Tech Priest. Now there's a lot of... These are some weird graphical, graphical glitches here. There are... Yeah, I guess they're not going away. <laughs> there are a lot of great options for the final Tech Priest. Um, I could get more of this prayer usage. I could get more cognition. I could have another thing that drops in units. I could have another healer, another range attacker. For poetry's sake, I'm going to go ahead and have one of the two paths for this character be the one that we haven't used yet. The melee character, the explorator. This is probably not optimal, but we're going to go for it. So the first level makes it so that you reveal enemy stats when you get next to them, which is very handy. I'm not going to look at the equipment because we're going to get all of it. Then we avoid all opportunity attacks and have extra movement, which is nifty. The third level is the same as in the range tree. Machine spirit attacks do bonus two damage. So you can like have a character that goes down both trees and gets both of them. But these last two kind of anti-synergize because this one prevents you from wearing melee weapons and this one prevents you from wearing physical weapons and all of the benefits are contingent on that so either you have no weapons equipped and get both of them which i guess is possible but then you can't ever attack or you just waste a lot of the potential of the final talent all right and then after that i'm gonna grab another lex mechanic so that we can up get more cognition points with this and also this is my melee character they'll be getting attacked so we're also gonna get uh actually hold on who who gets cps for getting attacked oh my god is it oh is it is it the paladin okay i'm having a moment i am boggled isn't there someone who gets cps whenever you attack them this is empty Oh, this is this is it. This is pass. Right, right. Okay, yes. Gain a CP one hit. So this one is the one that gives you CPs when you kill somebody. It gives you a CP when you get hit, and you have an active thing to fill the CP gauge. So we'll go here. Again, I'm not claiming this is optimal. I confess, I saved before doing this. So, in the event that this ends up being a bad idea, I will reload and try again oh hang on a second we're not we're not gonna make it we're not gonna make it oh my god oh my god i am just 600 some blackstone short of getting this final level oops all right well that's fun so let's go ahead and outfit this character we're gonna do a little bit of an audit here i don't think that my hand spots are particularly optimally applied here so we're just gonna unplug a lot of these okay you're my healer person you can keep the actually yeah there's not there's a case you made for putting this on my tank yeah um let's get rid of this as well okay so you my dedicated melee person i want you to have the big cognition point stick and also the big beat stick I'm not concerned about the augment requirements because this character is not going to be wielding any ranged weapons, so he has plenty of augmentation points to spare. Besides this, in these slots, I'm going to try something I haven't played with before. It is this thing. Become the priority target of enemies and gain three armor for a round. We'll try it, see how it goes. It might be a terrible idea, it might be fun, who knows. And then besides this, there are a lot of good options. Obviously, I can get a healing claw, but I think I'm going to grab a force field maybe I want a bigger force field yeah let's get the big force field and you can you can put on the little force field for yourself that's that's fine there's, uh, there's someone someone's got to be holding a medium force field the one that blocks at the second level but we're not gonna worry about it for now we'll see how it goes so oh yeah you have the medium force field um it's fine I'm okay with that so you and put on this one and that one and wait wait hold on so then who 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 are you oh you're jeremiah you're my yeah you're my other melee person so i'm actually gonna give away your weapon as well let's actually unequip my melee weapons okay so you are my new character my dedicated new melee character so 
Oh, right. If I'm doing beat stick and CP, then you're not going to hold a heal stick as well. Is it okay to have this character have no healing other than the armor and a force field? Yeah, we'll try it. So you are going to get my biggest axe. So you can axe people some. Actually, this, this is a bit much. This is too many um, slots because I still have to put on equipment. Ah, so I need to cut one of these back down to a second tier instead of a third tier. How about this? I think it's okay to get away with just uh, two damage beat stick with the buzz saw. And then we have four slots left for the equipment purple. Okay, let's go ahead and put it on. Let's see what, what our best options are. So one physical armor, one of each type of armor. Let's go for that. Dress, three movement, two HP. Two movement, two HP. Okay. Gloves, one physical armor or dodge chance. I'm just going to get the sure thing with the armor. And then the torso, one physical armor and just four HP. Okay. So you end up with two physical and one energy. Not the greatest, but also not the worst. Although, actually, ah, this is a lot worse than I was expecting. That's a little sad. He is going to get plus one, though, so it's going to be three and two. Yeah, okay, that's fine. All right, now we need to equip our other characters again. So you got your weapon taken off. You were my former melee character. I guess I'll give you my second best axe. And then in this spot, uh, you can use my heal. You can use the big heal stick. That's fine. All right. Um, I would like you to have the medium force field, though, instead of... Oh, this this is dumb. Why, why do you have this? You should take a cloth as you're my secondary melee character. And I want you to have the two augment force field. Where is my two augment force field? It's on you. You are my support character. Okay, so you can I mean you could just take the claw because you get a bonus for those yeah why don't we do it that way and then here you can have heal stick and a smaller oh this is this is the big beat stick wait a minute I messed that up oh god okay well you can put on this axe Where's my, where's my uh, bigger beat stick? You are still my other melee character. Oh yeah, you need the force field. Perfect. All right, and then you can, oh God, this is my range character. Good Lord. Okay, um, do I care about you having a beat stick? Or am I fine with you just having healing? That's, that's idiotic. No, you are gonna be in melee range. You should have the beat stick. You can have the big healing and small CP claw or small. Let's just let's just go for healing. I'm going to need it at some point here as things get pretty serious. Let me just scroll through to make sure everybody's fully equipped. Great. All right. Let's go ahead and save that because that was a lot of digging around. I don't know when this happened, but there's actually another boss fight. And I don't remember anything about this boss fight. I don't know if I'm going to die horribly, but we're going to go into it. There's no other good rewards. We'll do the Royal Vizier. This gives us level 3 Servitors, which I don't even know what that does, but it could be fun. I guess you have to... I would have had to ground through some or grind through some other missions to... Oh, not enough Blackstone. Hilarious! <laughs> okay, well, we'll take a level 2 Servitor, I suppose. And jump on in there. Yeah, so I guess I could grind through some of these missions. This tends to be the character that has to do with unit upgrades. And maybe I could have gotten some more party slots. But what I'm hoping is I get like a nice big 700 Blackstone payout on this mission. And then I can get the very last upgrade for my new character. And then I can go to the final boss and try to beat the game. So remember that with these bosses, it's always like a linear path to the boss. This is actually nice. There's no events in the first two, which is terrific. It's just building up the Necron Awakening level, but that's fine. A lot of times with the boss, the stuff is all bad. We'll see what this one is. Okay. Um, well, let's pray. 3 CP. Great. Love it.
attempt communication or exorcism. Let's exercise. A lot of times when you attempt to communicate, it ends up going badly for you. Um, I am going to pull up the... Uh, sorry, I'm moving my mic away for a second. Warhammer 40k glyph guide. Been a while since I've had to pull this thing up. Um, oh my god. Okay, there it is. The picture didn't load for a second. Okay. What do we got here? So we got one of the OGs over here, which I should really have memorized by now with the two circles and the hook underneath that is healing. And then the four circles with the hook on the lower side. Oh God. Um, okay, hang on for some reason. Oh, that's an item. Okay, so that's probably going to give me Blackstone because the item pool has been emptied. Or it's going to give me nothing. It's going to give me nothing. Well, both they both did nothing because I'm at full health. So health would have been nothing as well. That's fine. No regrets. No event. Okay, we have another item here. This one looks scary. The two spikies up at the top. Oh, this is... That is awakening, increasing, and this is initiative being lost. So we'll go ahead and take the nothing again. Okay, glad that's over with. Two more events. Uh, strength and ignorance. Okay, we'll try this. Ah, should have taken the initiative. See, that's the thing is you know that it affects CP and usually that means it raises it, but in that case, it lowered it. All right, we'll try it. No, no CPs. Oh no, it did give CPs. Okay, that's worth it. I have a lot of Awakening to spare. You're forced to basically fight the final vice when Necron Awakening gets up to 100% and we're at like 60 some or 59. So it's fine considering I'm planning to beat the game after, the, after this mission. I will, of course, uh, do some grinding if I die to try to unlock my extra slots so I can have more units. I mean, worst case scenario, having more servitors to drop is nice. Ooh, intimidating. Okay. Do I, do I have to watch that, though? Or can we, just, can we just move on? Nope. Escape. Escape buttons. They do nothing. So I'll try my usual strategy of bum rush the boss and hope for the best. We'll see how that works out. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in between us and the boss, though. Kill the Lord Michelob. I know it's actually Melob, but I always think of the beer when I see that. Well, I think I think of the beer when I see his name. So we have decent amount of hit points, decent amount of hit points, decent amount of hit points, and possibly, of course, more enemies coming out. Well. Let's do the usual. We'll have my energy armor person up front. You guys hang back a tad. You hang back a tad. Is it worth spawning units here? This is a curious situation. I don't know what... Do I have to wait a whole round before this gate drops? Like, am I just not able to get across initially? I'm not going to get units right now because I'm just not sure that they're actually going to be useful. We're going to delay. I definitely just want to see what the enemy is going to do first. Reclaim protocol. Minus nine cognition. You have got to be kidding me. That is bad. Well, if I'd known that was going to happen, I would have maybe done things differently. But, uh, okay. Alright, so this one is spawning into our area to shoot at us, which is great. So we can actually go do something to it. Still delay. I just want to see what happens. It would be kind of funny to like spawn a unit near the boss and just see what happens. I don't think it's smart, but I could like spawn a flamethrower next to it and then put on like all three prayers and then flamethrower it and see what happens. 
I mean, one dose of that should really do it. These bosses will have hit points in the high tens. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I think this character should get the CPs from these two-point stacks because they get value from that. But maybe the other characters I would want to actually pass on a CP to reveal the boss. But I could also, of course, just use the scanners. Um, so do we just whack? Five. Oh, God. Five physical armor. That's unfortunate. But we got a crit. That's cool. So, great. This thing's almost dead. Let's get our CPs. I guess I got to make sure I use up all the CPs. I have to be a little bit careful because if I um, don't use them, they apparently all get lost at the beginning of the round. I don't know if I need this or not. Hmm. It's a four cooldown. I might want it later. But on the other hand... What am I doing with my life? And we'll pass. Okay, you, let's go ahead and do the scanner on the boss. So 60 and five, man, I should just go for it. Okay, we're committed, it's happening. So first I gotta make sure that any um, things I do with physical weapons I do first. And it looks like I'm, st I, I'm imagine moving here and I cannot target these guys. So I cannot shoot through this thing. Is it worth shooting at him with my flamethrower? Not really. So what we're going to do is just armor everybody up. Just in case it matters. I really wish I could shoot one of these guys with my little gun to learn their stats. But alas... We'll just do this for the damage. Crit wasn't super relevant there. Should I servo skull one of them? Or just get a CP? Yeah, I'm gonna servo skull one. We're gonna get this one back here. It's the one with more health. Actually, these are both immortals, aren't they? Yeah, they're both immortals, so it didn't matter which one I did. Uh, there's no HP to heal. There's no need to do this because I'm not shooting with a flamethrower. Okay, so we are committing now. We're going to pop that canticle. And now it's not until the unit drops in that I'm going to use it. All right, so you need to do this. So what is it that I can actually do productively? I suppose we'll put up a force field. And kind of stand in the middle of everybody. Let's take a free shot. With this thing. Mostly that's to turn on the machine spirit. Because I am going to take a free shot. With my other weapon. This one. And that'll that's guaranteed to kill. Oh I guess okay. So the, the 1 to 2 damage was not irrelevant. Because it made this thing die. Do I have a thing to kill a corpse with? I do my big beat stick. So I think I wasted this one's cooldown since I have a force field here anyway. The one that gives you plus three, plus three armor and taunts. Yeah, that was that was poor play. Okay, let's get that cognition stack. Let's... Oh, I forgot to fill the cognition gauge. God darn it. Well, let's turn this on. And I don't think I want to fill this gauge up because I don't think I'm going to be able to use all of it. So we're just going to end turn here. So you are going to call in a flamethrower right next to the boss. Pop. Unfortunately, I cannot buff it for 100% crit chance. But luckily, the boss has no physical armor. So it's not a huge deal. What we need now is plus two damage to all troops for the next attack. I could have gone for the armor, of course, because that troop is going to get hit. But I think it's okay. Um, and I don't think we actually need anything else. I can't hit anybody through the force field. I don't want to... I, I mean, I could do this, but it's just going to be lost. So, yeah, we're just going to pop the canticle. Well, let's, just for safety's sake, let's do it on the flamethrower's turn. Castellan robot. So 
just do this. Hope it's not one of those fake missions where if I kill the boss, then the game is going to make me um, kill all the other enemies. That's, that's lower than it should be because I used the canticle and I prayed twice. I, I, yeah, there's something weird going on with it. I'm not entirely sure what the situation is, but these robots aren't quite getting the prayers that I expect them to be getting, but then sometimes they get a bonus one. Now let's turn on the armor because obviously I'm getting hit. And we end turn. Okay, there's more stuff coming out of here, isn't there? The Praetorian is going to jump in at us. These don't have as much health as the Immortals, but, you know, they are a nuisance. Okay, so the gates dropped. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, I see. So we are going to now need to get in here, all of us, before the turn ends. Gotcha. Okay, I don't need this character to get these two CPs, because I can just go here and have someone else get them. This will reveal the stats, which is super cool. Oh, and see, this has the benefit of the prayers. Well, that's fine, actually. I'm fine with doing a bunch of damage to this because my flamethrower character wasn't getting it. They just did the minimum two to five damage with their melee attack. So we'll just whack them. It's a little weird. I am profiting somewhat from sort of strange behavior, but... All right. Two health left on that one. I don't think I need this force field. We'll pass. All right. You can go get the two CP. And this is a bit of a waste. So what I could do is, let me, it's a little weird. Uh, I'm going to actually take a free shot with my Cognus Flamer. So the, the, the idea here is that that helps keep the Machine Spirit on my other weapon. And it charges Machine Spirit for the Cognus Flamer. So I'm doing a little bit of Machine Spirit management. This character does do plus two damage with Machine Spirit on, so I don't want to waste that. And that enemy had only two health. So at this point, there is actually somebody I can scan. It is the new Praetorian who's over here. I mean, yeah, you might say, well, but Boris, this thing will jump in, then you can just have your new melee character get in there and reveal its stats by standing next to it, and that's true, but, um, I mean, I, I have that to use, I might as well just use it. Wait, is that all this guy does on his turn? Is he just cancels our CPs? That's it? He doesn't attack? Then my flamethrower drop-in strategy is genius. Okay, there, the armor was not totally wasted, so that's, that's nice. Okay, everybody needs to get in here. Hearthstone reference. Hey, everyone, get in here. Okay, what, you're 18? Okay, sure, we'll turn on plus two damage. I mean, this might be me getting a little bit frisky, but I feel like this isn't that challenging so far. The boss just eats our CP every round. The enemies aren't that crazy. We're just going to have to walk through one section per round, it looks like. It doesn't seem like that huge of a deal. Uh, I'm going to refrain from filling the gauge. Oh, I don't. I can't move anymore. Okay, never mind. I'm going to fill the gauge. It's a little bit rough because I'm going to obviously waste some of these CPs. But apparently I need one to move. I'm going to whack you. I should have taken a shot at it. Although it does have three armor. Whack. Uh, is it worth even using this claw? Will I be able to use up all the CPs? I don't think I am. Unless I drop in some units. Nah, I'm not going to dick around. Let's just end turn. All right, you. I guess we'll just go here. Is it worth firing a big gun? Seven to nine damage? Eh, sure. I have like I don't know if I've ever fired that gun, so might as well. I think this is gonna this is gonna cause oh it it, it does no damage to anybody. All right, never mind. Uh, I could walk up to it and whack it with my axe. Sure, it'll die to an opportunity attack, but you know we're about to lose all of our CPs anyway. 
So might as well. And it has one armor, so my little tiny beat stick doesn't do me any good. No one's missing any health. Oh, you're missing health. Hold on. Okay, sure. We'll go over here and heal you. I guess that enemy doesn't do opportunity attacks. Good to know. Oh, no point in this. It'll get sucked away anyways. All right, you're unfortunately doing minimum damage here because you turned on your armor that apparently you didn't need. So lesson for next time, don't have your robot turn on their armor because they don't need it. This character, this boss does no attacks. He just eats CPs, which seems a little, seems a little tame. Ah, we got more coming out. What is it gonna be? Is it gonna be a Lich Guard? No, another Praetorian, so this will also jump in. It's actually very nice, we're, we're kind of blocked by these gates every time, but, you know, we uh, are spawning Praetorians who just jump into us. I'm gonna get this robot because we're about to lose all of our CPs. So we'll just spawn it so they're not completely wasted. Alrighty, you, my melee character. I guess you're gonna do your work. Get up here. Whack this guy. Barp. And should I take the CPs? Okay, I think I can take them. It's a little bit of a waste, but we can put put the force field on. Um, is it worth it to keep going? I could just like, oh, well, there's a, still a gate here. Okay, th this level really makes you wait for it. I don't know what the point of that was. It, this, this, this is a, oh, this is an immortal. Okay, so maybe having it up against the wall is helpful. Oh, that's not the boss. Oops, hold on. I guess I could have gotten the CPs um, and used them. Oh, wait, this is a melee one? Wow, okay. I thought, I thought at this point in the game all the Praetorians were going to be ranged, but I guess not. Okay, well, that's unfortunate because I need to get out of here and it's going to be an opportunity attack. Eh, okay, I mean, this is my ranged character. If I'm not eating this opportunity attack, then I am just going to be doing nothing with my turn. So, I guess I'll reveal your stats and use my machine spirit on you. Hmm, energy armor. Quite unfortunate. I'll light it on fire. And I'm going to get up here partly to get in the force field range, but also partly to um, maybe let my unit shoot a black hole at this thing. It's possible that, that I actually have enough room for that. Do I want to do this? The boss is going next. If I don't use the CP now, it's wasted. So, nope. All right. Oh, I guess we might as well. Oh, wait, right. That, that was the one that just jumped in. Okay. Minus zero cognition. What a powerful move there, boss. Powerful move. Ah, my unit's getting attacked. That's awkward because uh, he has no physical armor. And if it takes another attack like that, it actually just dies. Uh-oh. Big hits, big hits. I need to heal this so it can step away, and it might actually be able to hit both of these enemies with a black hole, which would be nice. I just don't want it to die. Okay, do you have any healing? You do? All right. So, oh, well, okay. This is how we can stop the opportunity attack. That enemy has only one HP left. <laughs> Okie dokie. Now, at this point, I would like to just get that CP. But on the other hand, we could also just go here. This enemy has no physical armor. And we could just do this and kill it. Because... Even if I roll low damage, I have my big beat stick. Barp. Okay. Now, the boss is gone, so I am going to get the cognition points from the corpse. I have to be a little bit careful. These reanimate very quickly, apparently. Uh, that's weird. So, I know we got to level 5. They reanimate one turn faster, but isn't the default 3? So, why is it coming back immediately? Okay, I'm not going to dick around. I'm just going to spend 2 CP to shoot this thing. 
because I just don't want to get into some weird situation. Oh, also, we have to remember to... Oh, God. I messed up. I kept my range character behind this wall. So, unfortunately, this means that um, he's going to get stuck here. That was a bit silly of me. I just completely forgot about that. Well, uh, shoot. At least I can get my robot out of here. It can't shoot at this enemy that's actually relevant to shoot at, but maybe I can shoot at this one? Just outside the reach of my range character here. I did have my support character who could have finished this thing off, but having the robot here, I guess, is convenient like that. You get out of the range, but then this character, Minarius, does not. Okay. Well, let's see here. We'll come up here and gonna take a preliminary look at things. Can I shoot you with my thingy? I can. Great. And, okay, this is weird, but I can actually do this. So, for whatever reason, when you use this ability, all troops and range attacks like to target, the AoE attacks of the troops do not do AoE. I don't know if that's intentional, um, or if that is a bug, but it works for me. Now, I can just kill it with my big weapon. Oh, well, probably kill it with my big weapon most likely kill it with my big weapon. Okay, great. I don't want to take any more CP. I'll, use, I'll lose them to the boss. Anybody need healing? Oh, yeah. The, the troop. Oops. Well, that was a bit silly then. Of course, I shouldn't have moved. I just lost the CP for nothing. But that's fine. The boss was going to take it anyways, probably. So, now I could do a distant prayer oh but everybody's at full health okay great oh man i'm actually gonna get machine spirit with my flamethrower that's that's a new experience you have to do it three times to charge it up this thing doesn't actually have machine spirit curiously bop man this the the support tree with the units is just so handy on this level being able to drop in this troop and just beat down if i had two of those types of characters that would be super handy yep there goes the gate so my range character is blocked off i forgot to move him past the range of the gate very silly do i want you to you know go nuts running i think i do actually i absolutely do yeah so let's see we'll i guess just oh wait oh this gate is still up god darn it okay well we'll go here and wait no suspect activity detected that's my favorite kind of activity two more immortals Jeez. all right that is heavy well nothing i can do i don't think i want to do this because i don't want it to get sucked away you oh god this is heartbreak i really hope that this thing drops next time and i can maybe advance two levels or something with him but this is sad do I use this again? You know, I think I am actually going to do this again because that might allow my robot to finish off the boss. And if this isn't one of those fake ones that says just kill the boss and then you win, then uh, we'll just end it and we don't have to deal with those other immortals. Wait, you're, you're attacking my robot now? Well, okay. I mean, I'm not mad. You should have killed my robot like 15,000 turns ago, but uh, <laughs> I guess I just got a little spoiled. Okay, we are going to go here and turn on a prayer. Not entirely sure how this works with the robot. It's weird, but we'll take it. And now I think I'm actually going to pop this. The, the boss is already gone. And there are things I want to do. I would like to get up here and turn on my field generator because these these immortals are about to attack. I can't do anything more really, so we'll end it there. You, eh, I'm gonna take a little risk. If the immortals choose to target it from back here, it'll die, but this way it's close enough to shoot at them when the gates open. And these guys shouldn't be able to attack me, right? Yeah, because the gate works both ways. Okay, you... Oh my god, I get this? 
Oh man, that's great. Okay, so the, the, the thing lasted long enough I can call in my second Castellan robot. And I will also, see do I have, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just heal H all HP on all troops. The distant heal would have healed it for three. This instead heals it for five. We need to make sure that we get past the barrier. Oh, right. This robot is going to be stuck behind. It didn't have enough movement to get up front of it. But, yeah, that sucks. Any chance I have enough range? No, that's that's way too far. Okay. I can't shoot anybody. No point in getting CPs that I can tell. Hey, let's give uh, my troops plus two for their next attack. That's two of them. They might be able to fi Yeah, they can definitely finish off this boss now. Okay. Great my support character coming in hot on this one the second robot didn't actually end up mattering but now we get to find out if that was a real mission or not it was a real mission you don't actually have to surprise finish off everybody else it's over all right well thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed it please like and or subscribe and i'll see you again soon of course if you want to stick around for the bonus screen at the end you're welcome to do so This mission, though, didn't really give a lot of Blackstone, did it? There weren't, like, any scanners or anything, and there weren't that many enemies. So I'm not going to be able to get my final level on my new Tech Priest. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it was basically nothing. Oh, that's scary. Because I don't really want to fight... Th yeah, I'm just, like, literally 200 Blackstone short. Okay, so I might actually do one more mission just to get some blackstone maybe i'll do this normal one because it's easy or i have a whole bunch of normal ones here too this actually wouldn't be the worst thing to have either but anyway we'll, we'll maybe do one more mission before the final boss just to grind up the blackstone to go in with a fully upgraded team and that'll be it thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed it please like and or subscribe see you again soon